How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Today I wanted to talk about the topic of wanting to quit drinking. Um, if you don't want to quit drinking, you're going to find it very difficult to do this into the long term. You know, there's a big difference between wanting to quit and needing to quit. Most of us approach this uh, and get into this quitting drinking because we need to quit, right? There's somebody in the background, something in the background that's forcing a decision on you. You know, you've been drinking for a long time. Maybe, you know, there's a person behind you that's giving you encouragement to sort of seek some help that's saying that you've got a problem. There's an environmental issue that you've got to get over. You know, I quit drinking a few years ago. My first quit, when I first attempted to quit drinking, I got a DUI and I just had to quit because of that. You know, and other people are going to find different things, different reasons. Um, you know, maybe it's a health reason or whatever it is. But mostly when you need to quit, it's a quitting in the moment, right? It's, um, it's a need to quit now, right? And like, for instance, when I quit and I got that DUI, I did uh, stop drinking for almost a year. I managed 10 months and towards the end of that year, I'd sort of disappeared from you know, all the reasons that I'd, I'd started to. I was almost, you know, like two months away from completing the year. Uh, and, you know, the reasons why I quit had disappeared into the past. And it's the same thing if you've got somebody in the background who's um, trying to encourage you to quit, if you've got a health problem. Those motivations are there in the moment and they're spurring you on to do, you know, what you need to do. But give it a month down the road, two months down the road, and, you know, the person who is, who's been behind you trying to get you to quit drinking, you know, they see the, the, the positives and they might think, well, yeah, you've, you've managed to do that. And you might think different things, you know, the health issues that you had might have disappeared. The environmental issues or the life issues that you had are probably going to have disappeared down the road. So in two months time, three months time, you're probably not going to have the same motivation as you did on day one, right? So you have to have a big want to quit right and you have to maintain that want you know um have that want motivating you and motivating you and motivating you second time i quit i wanted to quit for my son right i wanted to quit for myself first and foremost um but i wanted i knew what i was doing in my life i knew the uh, the pressure that i was putting onto my son subconscious pressure right i knew the type of um, influence I was giving him as a father and that was killing me you know it was really you know once I realized that and I probably knew it deep down all along but once I realized it and it came to the focus uh, to the front of my focus then it was like it was a, just a huge motivation and nothing was going to stop me from from changing that you know I was afraid for my own health I was afraid for myself I knew that alcohol was causing me not only to to um, have health problems associated with the alcohol, but I had health problems associated with many other areas of my life because you know you you let so many areas go because you've only got 24 hours in the day, and if you're spending a huge chunk of that time thinking about drinking, drinking and overcoming the consequences of drinking, then everything else that you have to do in your life have got has got to be squeezed into um, a never narrowing chunk of time. Right, so you know you you stop looking after yourself. You stop exercising as much as you should do. Might not you might stop exercising altogether. You stop eating properly. You know, you might stop eating good altogether. You know, this is where I was going, um, and you stop caring for yourself. Then you start you stop caring for other people, and you know it becomes that deep pit. You know where you're you're gradually sinking lower and lower and lower. So. You can see how in those moments, you know, where you, you everything just comes together in, in, in um, you know, like a, it can be a, a bombshell or it can be a tiny thing, you know. For me, it was watching my son pacing up and down the beach looking for an iPod that he'd lost in the, in the sand. And that was all it took for me. But it was the culmination of many, many thoughts and um, a lot of, sort of inner debate over many years about my drinking um, or about my lifestyle 
Um, and for some people it might be something huge but you can imagine how if you've got something that just happens and it's a big something that just forces you to stop drinking how when that motivation disappears two or three months down the road that it's going to become easier for you to go I think I can handle this alcohol now I've got my life under control and I think I can go back drinking right and that's a big mistake so you know you have to start with a big one if you if you don't start with that right i'm not saying that you can't start with that big bombshell moment where you, you need to quit and you have to quit now right that's a good place to start right but in the months that follow in the weeks and days that follow you've got to try and find your big reason why you know you've got to find that motivation to make you want to stop drinking and there's a lot of different ways that you can do this the first way is you can start to look at some of your values you know so look at your core values what do you stand for as a person what is it that you want to do in your life one of those things for me was being a good father you know that was the biggest motivation for me all, all, all together being a good partner to my to, to Esther um, Education and growth was another one, and I found that that was just, you know, all my life I wanted, I, you know, I, I, I've always pursued education in one form or another. But, you know, the more you rely on a drug for something, the more the information is either not going in in the first place because you can't be bothered doing it, or when you do put the information in, it's going in one ear and out the other ear. You know, the retention rates are not good, the comprehension rates are not good and they all start to suffer in the long term right so you can find your whatever it is that you value in your life that's a good place to start to look for um, a big reason why you can ask yourself some simple questions like why am i doing this right what am i doing this for who am i doing this for and that might tease out some responses you might be looking in the wrong uh, direction you know you might be your purpose might be completely wrong in that case you know like do these exercises and try and find something you know and try and look at your values and ask yourself simple questions and spend a lot of time thinking about this because you know like i say you've probably got two or three months to do this before the initial uh, wave of enthusiasm from that need to quit in the beginning wears off and you start to think about boozing again you know a lot of the time it's because we're so stuck in the moment that we don't really see how our current behavior is going to pan out in the future so you know one of the methods that I talk about a lot is the Dickens technique which is taking yourself imagine that three ghosts are coming uh, to visit you in one night one's taking you to the past one is showing you your present um, time and another one is taking to you to uh, a couple of different possible futures and one possible future is where you don't quit drinking alcohol and the other possible future is where you do with drinking alcohol and you see the difference in that and take yourself down the road two years three years five years ten years down the road and just put yourself into this and give yourself a bit of time to think this through and just see that where the consequences lie you know consequences of of quitting drinking as well as as not quitting drinking so look i'm going to leave it there i'm just going to say that you know you've got to try and find that big reason why you're doing anything in life if you want to keep yourself motivated into the long term you know needing to do something is one thing right but wanting to do it and having the motivation to carry on doing that into the long term is a, a completely different kettle of fish right you've got to try and find your big compelling reason why you're doing this and you can find that in many different areas of your life from your own values i mean most of it's going to be found inside your own head right because it's your emotional connections to the things around you to your environment to the people around you to your own uh, the structure of your own life this is where you're going to find it you know it's it's what drives your emotions it's what gives you an emotional push that's where you've got to look for it so um if you need any help at all uh with quitting drinking alcohol we've got a, the alcohol mastery starter pack which is over on the website it's absolutely free uh, just leave your name and email address at alcoholmastery.com and there's a couple of different uh, courses and ebooks and stuff like that that i'll send you out um, if you have any questions at all leave them down in the comments below as normal and until next time my name is kevin o'hara for alcoholmastery.com take care of yourself keep the alcohol out of your mouth onwards and upwards take care bye now